Springfield police say that you can put your phone on the seat next to you or you can mount it up on the dash. But if you're driving with your phone in your hand, tuition is always increasing here at the University of Oregon. But President Michael Schill just announced an $11 million budget cut coming this year. If the increase is approved, Eugene residents will be paying more for their parking. With more than 10 locations around Eugene and Springfield, like this church by the University of Oregon campus, even if you're just running into your house just for a second, leaving your bike unlocked and unattended, just like this one, you can barely recognize the pathways here at Alton Baker Park due to all of this flooding. If Oregon passes this bill, your furry friends will be able to live in apartments rent-free, like this tree at the University of Oregon campus. If the city of Eugene passes this bill, we'll be seeing less plastic in the trash, Oregonians are constantly returning their used bottles at the bottle drop. But uh, yeah, we're, we're hoping for a big haul. In hopes of making a little extra cash. Takes me like 15 minutes and I get like 30 bucks. Yeah. I'll take your cans. In fact, Oregon raised the deposit value from 5 cents to 10 cents. And now, 90% of bottles are finding their way here to recycling facilities. The Oregon Beverage Recycling Cooperative says that's a direct result of the increase. And more than 300,000 Oregonians have used the bottle drop so far. With the increase, Oregonians now have a wider range of containers they are able to recycle. This includes sports drinks, tea, and kombucha bottles, allowing people to get cash for the things they need. Oh, it just helps out with like change of gas and yes. gas, oil change. oil change is what we're getting ready to do. But Joel Schoening of OBRC says the increase is more than just making money. For a long time, Oregon's been interested in you know environmental conservation and protecting the or Oregon's environment. So this is just a continuation of that. And with the expansion of the bottle bill, Oregonians hope they continue to do good for the state. It, it makes me feel better for one reason. It's good for the community to keep it clean because you pick up stuff because everything like, starts looking gross. Reporting in Eugene, I'm Avita Garza. The South Eugene white and purple basketball teams practice twice a week. These teams are a part of Kids Sports, an organization that provides recreational sports for children kindergarten through eighth grade. The teams are in different leagues, but they have to share space to practice, leaving some coaches frustrated. I can't tell you how difficult sometimes it is to find gym time. So a lot of times um, it's really a lack of facilities. But that will be changing in the coming months. The Eugene Civic Alliance purchased a Civic Stadium property in April 2015 as a new home for kid sports. Behind me is where the Eugene Civic Stadium once stood before it burned down in 2015. But since then, the Eugene Civic Alliance has raised more than $25 million to turn this space into a multi-purpose field house. Nancy Weber, one of the co-directors on the project, says a new Civic Park will have a large impact on the community. Not just the big games that are going to be played there, but we might have a go fly a kite day and kids can bring their own kites out and fly them. That's the kind of feel I think this place is going to have. The project is expected to take 18 months to finish, but until then, David looks forward to the future of the Civic Park. I am just really excited to see like a dedicated complex for kids sports where they can kind of dictate the rules about when games are played, when tournaments happen, Reporting in Eugene, I'm Avita Garza. For Dana Hawes Davis, drawing is more than just a hobby. It's a form of expression. I'll tell you a little secret. When I make M's, I always think about two people holding hands. That's why in August 2016, she created Joy PSA as a means of expressing herself. Now, it's become who she is. It felt like to me, this was my invitation to go from this place of like grief and feeling like this is the world that I'm forever in to a place of like the life that I've always wanted to create. Joy PSA is a self-funded print campaign created by Haas Davis, which promotes motivation, happiness, and love. Each print contains a quirky picture and a positive message completely drawn by Haas Davis. But after finishing a drawing, she hangs a print somewhere around Eugene solely in hopes of making someone smile. 
In the last few years, Joy PSA has grown from prints to stickers, clothing, and even advertising space on public transportation buses in Lane County. Not only does Joy PSA reach the community through the posters you'll find around downtown Eugene, it also encourages young kids to use their creativity and imagination through the day camps that Dana Hawes Davis hosts during the summer. These camps teach children how to make simple art projects and encourage them to use their imaginations. Gretchen Soderlund, whose daughter's drawing was featured on a bus in Lane County, says this drawing was very important to her and her daughter. It was a, a really great opportunity because it wasn't every kid that got chosen. And I think that Dana had um, really, she, she really liked Lena's artwork. Although Hawes Davis is unsure about the future of Joy PSA, she knows it will always be going in the right direction. I still don't have a vision for it, so I've just really always let the art kind of just go wherever that's calling. Reporting in Eugene, I'm Avita Garza. The University of Oregon held a free clothing store at the EMU last week. The UO Student Sustainability Center partnered with the InterVarsity Ministry Group to create a clothing store that allows students to save money. The city of Eugene will be planting over 2,000 air cleaning trees in preparation for the 2021 Track and Field Championships. Members of the University of Oregon community gathered to celebrate the reopening of Chapman Hall last Thursday. The Jewel Company is still selling flavored pods on their website, but age verification is needed. To see more of her art, go to sophienavarro.com.